Number 47. What is the length of the tube that has a fundamental frequency of 176 hertz and a first overtone of 352 hertz if the speed of sound is 343 meters per second? All right, so first, please check out number 42. I went through a general overview of the section, all right, so that should help with the formulas and whatnot. And uh, also number 43, I developed this particular formula, all right, that the frequency of the nth harmonic will be equal to the nth harmonic multiplied by the fundamental frequency. Okay, so let's just keep that in mind. So now, and this is basically what we need, okay, and what's, what's interesting about this is that or the problem I should say about this problem <laughs> is that did they tell us what type of tube we're dealing with? Is it a tube that's open at one end or both ends? No, they didn't, right? So that's going to be a problem because I have two different formulas to use, one for a tube open at one end and one for a tube open at both ends. So what I first need to do is figure out, is this thing open at one end or both ends? And the way we do that is by using this formula, all right? So let's let's do this, right? So we realize that the, um, that the frequency, okay, of the nth harmonic will be equal to the nth uh, harmonic multi sorry, I was like, uh, uh, multiplied by the fundamental frequency. So, if I'm dealing with the first overtone, right, the, they tell me the first overtone has this frequency, I'm going to plug that in for my unknown harmonic value, basically, here, okay, my, un my known frequency for unknown harmonic, okay, so that's going to be 352. That's now going to be equal to n, and then multiplied now by the fundamental frequency. So they told me that that was 176. So what I have to do now is do the division, right? So I take 352 and divide it by 176, and what do we get? Well, it looks like it's going to come out to be exactly 2, right? So now this is important because since they told me the first harmonic, Excuse me, since they told me the first, I apologize, since they told me the first overtone basically now correlates with the second harmonic. Second harmonic is first overtone. What I now, this piece of information, the second harmonic is extremely important because only one formula has the second harmonic in it. We know now on the right hand side that if for a tube open at uh, one end, the harmonic skip values, right? The first harmonic, we skip the second, we go to the third, we skip the fourth, we go to the fifth. So only the only the frequency formula for a tube open at both ends has the second harmonic in it. And therefore now I know what formula to use. I'm using the tube open at both end formula, all right? So that formula now is that the frequency of harmonic N will be equal to the nth harmonic multiplied by the velocity of sound divided by two times the length of the tube. Now, uh, what we can do here is we, we can actually use either value. It doesn't matter if we use 352 in for the frequency here. here. If we do, we better choose n is 2, right? You got you to gotta have them be consistent. So if you're going to do the first overtone, which correlates with the second harmonic, you better plug in 2 for n. Or we can choose the fundamental frequency value. If we plug in the fundamental frequency here, which is basically the frequency of the first harmonic, then that means n would be one, all right? And you're gonna get the same exact answer, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna plug in the fundamental frequency. 176 is equal to then one, because that's the first harmonic, multiplied by the speed of sound, which is 343, they told us divided by two now times the length of the tube, and this is great. Just do some algebra. So we're just gonna cross multiply the L on out and the 176 on down, and we are done, okay? Put that in parentheses and just do it up. So 343 divided by two times 176, and I put in 276, so hold on, 343, whoops, 343 divided by, that's what happens when you rush. All right, do as I say, not what as I do, right? So this is point seven, uh, excuse me, point nine seven four, nine seven four, and that's going to be in terms of meters. Voila, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you can subscribe, that'd be awesome. Hit that like button too. All right, it means a lot. Definitely helps the channel grow. So our our growth is directly proportional, you know, to to your guys helping us spread the word and hitting that subscribe button. So we are forever indebted to you. All right, thank you.